Well, I think it's a, we have to refine our understanding of the severity of the patient. And for that, I think, as an example, the measurement of the chest wall characteristics and the chest wall compliance, uh, separated from the lung compliance, uh, may help. And the second, in terms of therapy, is uh, the real challenge is to define uh, what is the moment, if there is a moment, uh, to uh, add to the mechanical ventilation a uh, possibly artificial lungs. Because uh, still, uh, the mortality for uh, RDS uh, is very high. And our effort in mechanical ventilation artificial lung is to buy time uh, in the less uh, safe, so to not contribute to the mortality, but to buy time uh, with the patient alive with viable gas exchange uh, for a while until the antibiotics, the, the basic disease can be cured. Well, I think uh, that uh, uh, to be the most uh, safe as possible, you have to act on two fronts. The first front is the energy that we put in the system, which has to be minimized. And to minimize the energy, we have to minimize one of the four components, uh, which are the volume, driving pressure, flow, and rate. So the combination of this uh, tell us how much is the power, that means the energy with time that we put in the system. For a given power, we have to have the recipient, which is the lung, uh, to make the lung uh, more uh, adapt uh, to tolerate the mechanical ventilation. That means we have to increase as much as possible the lung homogeneity and we may reach lung homogeneity, to increase lung homogeneity towards two systems, which are PEEP in a lung which is recruitable and prone position in the lung which is recruitable. These are the two ways we have in one side and in the other side we have the power, to minimize the power.